It's your boy the Hot Rod Stu here and today we're going to be logging in another entry to the Quirk Registry by examining the Quirk Twin Impact. Twin Impact is an emitter type Quirk that allows the user to create an additional impact. The user of this Quirk is the UA student of Class 1B, Dirigeki Shoda. He also goes by the hero name, Minds. As a hero in training, Minds surprisingly made really efficient use out of this very simple Quirk. The name of this Quirk is really basic, so it's not too difficult to figure out the meaning behind it. The word twin implies double or two of the same thing, somewhat similar to how human twins look alike. In this case, it means that with one touch, two impacts are created. The impact part is also pretty self-explanatory. It's basically just the force of two things colliding. For example, you would create an impact if you hit a wall. The dictionary definition of impact is the action of one object coming forcibly into contact with another. And with that, the name of this quirk makes the function much more obvious. Whenever Mind hits an object, he creates two impacts simultaneously, which makes them twins. The first impact is a regular one that you or I could make easily. The second one is created in the same place as the first one, but Mind can activate it whenever he chooses to. A perfect example is when Deku was hit with an attack and while he was running away, he was hit with a second impact out of nowhere. That's the delayed effect that the user of this quirk can activate at their own discretion. The second impact is multiple times stronger than the initial one and it's possible to leave multiple impacts at the same time. This may be why Nirigeki Shoda has the hero name Mind, because he can set up a lot of traps in advance like one would lay out a minefield. Minds uses this quirk in a really efficient way. He's pretty good at analyzing battles and reading ahead of the situation, which is enhances the use of his abilities. He was even able to keep up with the movements of Mineta when he was bouncing around on his balls. While there's only so much power he can cause on his own with twin impact, he can use his quirk to increase the strength of his allies attack as well, which makes him pretty good for support. He also has used his quirk to enhance his mobility in order to do things like jump higher and dash faster. In terms of gear, Mines wears a device over his eye and gloves that allow him to keep track of all the places where he left an impact so he can activate his quirk at the most ideal times. A miscellaneous fact about this quirk, the device he wears over his eyes is very similar to a device used in the anime Dragon Ball Z known as Scouters. It's so similar that I would be surprised if someone confirmed that the Scouter design had no influence on this design. And a truly useless fact, he may look chubby, but he's actually quite fit. During the UA Sports Festival, he scored 33rd place on the obstacle course while not openly using his quirk that much. I believe this quirk is criminally underrated. Sure, it may not have the immense powers of one for all or all for one, but it can be quite useful for a variety of situations. I could definitely see myself using a quirk like this because it would be very compatible with how I'd want to fight or be a hero. Whether I'm just providing support for my allies or getting in a 1v1, or I have to use use my brain to predict what's going to happen in the fight in order to place my impacts in the most optimal locations, this quirk would do me just fine. However, I will say that I'm not sure if I can use this quirk as good as mine since he does take advantage of his small size while I'm a very large 6'2". And with that, I think we can officially commit twin impact to the quirk registry. If you like this video, consider watching another one. I talk about a variety of different topics on this channel, mostly my hero right now, so I hope to see you there. This has been the Hot Rodster. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.